Welcome back. We are joined, as always, by Greg Engert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a James Beard Award nominee. The group includes Where We Are, Blue Jacket, also GBD and DuPont Circle, uh, Iron Gate and DuPont Circle That's as right. well. Greg, it is always good to see you. Good to see you, too. What is on tap this week? So this week, uh, I decided to pay homage to one of my absolute favorite shows, if not my favorite show of all time, Mad Men, which came to a close this past uh, weekend um, by way of pouring a beer from Avery Brewing Company uh, that has just come out. It's called Insula Multos Calibus, and it is part of their Barrel Age series. It's the 27th installation. We're lucky in this area. We just saw uh, three, uh, actually four new sours from Avery showing up, including uh, Insula here. And this one was made uh, as a kind of beer version of the Manhattan cocktail. Ah. So you got a kind of sour red ale base. It's about 9.7% alcohol, aged in bourbon barrels, not rye, but bourbon barrels, and then finished with some cherries. Um, so. It's their sour Manhattan uh, beer. Fascinating. And, and it is, sorry. Spoiler alert, uh, Don Draper was hit by a bus in the finale. <laughs> That's no, I, <laughs> you don't watch this. Just show. kidding. <laughs> um, so yeah, Insula, um, this is mm. Insula Multos Calibus, which means um, the island with many hills. So I think it's a reference to Manhattan Island, even in the, the drink, the Manhattan. Mm. That is really good. Well, again, like you say, it's from Avery. If you haven't had Avery before, it's kind of hard to go wrong with Avery. And the cool thing with Avery, too, is that, you know, they've always been an IPA brewery. You know, every IPA, uh, Maharaja, Dugana, they've got lots of different IPAs. And uh, Adam Avery has always thought of Avery Brewing Company, which has been around since 93, as a hop driven brewery. Uh, funny story is, like, more recently, uh, White Rascal has become their, their wit beer, a huge seller for them. So in some ways, it's not quite the IPA brewery it once was. But all along the, the way, they've been doing these fantastic barrel-aged beers, some sour, some not sour, like Uncle Jacob Stout. The first sour uh, uh, beer in this series, this is 27, came out in 2009. And since that time, and just a few months ago, Avery opened the doors to their brand new state-of-the-art um, expanded uh, production facility in Boulder. Um, that is, I've only seen pictures, I can't wait to go. It looks incredible, 67,000 square feet. It was a $27 million um, investment. But good news for sour fans is they've got 350 barrels on site and then a uh, space off site where they can get up to 3,000 more barrels. So we're gonna be seeing a lot uh, more sours uh, with our IPAs and our White Rascal from Avery Brewing Company. Well, not to get into a size comparison, but what, what is the square footage here? Yeah, uh, tiny by comparison. Uh, <laughs> oh, not... Square footage here is 7,000 on the ground oh, okay. floor for um, just the restaurant and bar, and about 5,000 for the brewery. So this is, uh, I don't know. Uh, 67,000. Yeah, it's crazy. It's almost 15 times uh, bigger. And they did about, but you should see the old place. It was crazy. They started in 93 in one bay of uh, this industrial park and kind of just picked up other bays where they could and got up to about 50,000 barrels the very hard way there. In the new space, they'll probably do 65 to 70,000 barrels this year. Um, they can do up to 85 in a couple of years. They'll expand with more fermenters to get up to 150 if they want. So they're gonna be uh, really taking it to the next level, which is exciting for us in this area as well. And, and my memory fails me, but they're not opening a second place out this way like some of the, are they? They're not. I hope not. Not, I mean, <laughs> The, I, I mean, with 67,000 square feet, I think they're they'll be good. Busy yeah, I with, think they're yeah. going to be good. But it's but to your that's the funny thing about that question is like it's getting hard to f remember who is opening the second brewery right. nowadays. But Stone uh, in Richmond, Green out Flash in Virginia in, Beach, in, in Virginia Beach, yeah. yep, Green Flash, uh, and then you know there's others being discussed as well. So um, lots of cool stuff that's coming just up. All they need in Virginia Beach is super tasty high octane <laughs> IPAs. I, I can't wait. I literally can't wait. Well, they've got the uh, trapeze people out here outside. I hadn't seen that before. Uh, what I love about this, as we talk about all the time, bottled on in big, bold letters. No codes, yeah, no I looking know, around, know. where is it? Bottled on. And thank in this you, case, it's cool, you, too, because um, with the bottled on, too, this tells you April 16th, so it's fresh, but as a barrel-aged sour, it's got 
legs, it can go for a while. So it's a cool thing. When you're aging this beer, which you should as well, um, drink it fresh or age it, you know exactly when it was from. And I love this too, production 1,308 cases. That's a very small amount uh, of, of, of beer, so and, really and, rare. And as we also always talk about, don't be put off by the word sour with this beer. It's not overly nice tart balance. at all. Good, good, good balance, oak character, a yeah. uh, little bit of, of a um, slight tannic quality from the barrels. The bourbon gives it richness. The bourbon barrel gives it richness. The fruit's integrated, too. It doesn't taste like overly cherry. Mm, no, you um, get it, but it's not Right, it's there. Powerful. It's, it's all in balance. Um, and like you said, the, the acidity is, is beautifully full and round um, and not uh, excessive. What would you pair it with? Maybe it's the madman on my mind, but uh, Manhattans and uh, big beers like this with big intensity. I just think of like New York City supper club food, rack of lamb, um, prime rib, duck, oh, yeah. squab, foie. I think this would be killer with any of those. Even with some big briny oysters, the acid would be very good as well. Or as long as you're not driving, pair it with a Manhattan. Yes. That's the best, that's the best pairing yet. All right, Greg, thank you as thank always. You. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.